As of 312 yesterday afternoon, Willard Mitt Romney's geotag on Twitter was Massachusetts by 545. It had been changed to Holiday, Utah. It seems pretty clear where this is all headed, as only about a million people immediately noticed online. Dudley Dorite is running for the U.S. Senate, from Utah. So long, Orrin Hatch. Don't let the screen door hit you on the way out. Mitt wanted to be president, but hey, so did his father. Now, what can you say except, any port in a storm? And this time, the media will treat him with respect, at least as long as he comes across as the Mitt Romney of March 2016, when he tore into Donald Trump as a phony, a fraud, if, on the other hand, he is the Mitt Romney of December 2016, making the pilgrimage to Trump Tower to kiss Trump's ring which was in his back pants pocket in a groveling attempt to be appointed Secretary of State, well, what was it that John Lackian called him in the 1994 Senate race, Mr. Mormon, Mitt said something about binders full of women, misogynist worst human ever Bill Clinton is credibly accused of rape, nothing to see here folks, move on. Mitt Romney mentions Tar Baby, racist John Kerry mentions Tar Baby, John, it's just an old expression, then there was his dog, Seamus, the Irish setter, whom Mitt put in a crate on the top of his car for a road trip from Massachusetts to Michigan. One day, at the Republican convention in Tampa in 2012, the sad fate of Seamus was mentioned in two separate columns on the oped page of the New York Times. Obama used to eat dogs for lunch in Indonesia and his acolytes never said rough. I'll bet if you'd given Seamus the option, crate or slow cooker, he'd have, oh, never mind. At age 70, Mitt has still only won, one election, governor of Massachusetts in 2002. In a series of tweets in 2016, Trump succinctly summed up Willard's bust-out career in politics. I am not a Mitt Romney, who doesn't know how to win, to a time-failed candidate, who ran one of the worst races in presidential history. Dot dot dot. Not a good messenger. There's a saying in baseball about pitchers who fail to live up to their potential, million-dollar arm, tents and head. In a political sense, that's Mitt Romney. When Trump was trolling him about becoming Secretary of State, he said Romney looked like he was, right out of central casting, the problem with Mitt is, he's afraid of his own shadow. The besotted Ted Kennedy bludgeoned him in the 1994 Senate debate at Faneuil Hall. In 2012, he went into the fetal position when Obama and the aptly named Candy Crowley ganged up on him. But I think this comeback campaign is more about Donald Trump. There's only nine months difference in age between them. And Trump accomplished something neither Mitt nor his father could ever do. He won the presidency. Now the Senate will have to be his consolation prize, just like it was, ironically enough, for his first foe, Teddy Kennedy. And then, after a term or two, probably two, Mitt can piss the seat down to someone in his family, just like the Conyers and the Dingells and the Kilpatricks. It's a Detroit thing. Did I mention, Mitt's from Detroit? Or he used to be. He's from Utah now and has been since 545 last night. Order Howie's new book, Kennedy Babylon at HowieCareShow.com.